Please do remember to turn off your mobile phones. Nobody, least of all me, wants to hear your showy ringtone during Hi our everybody. stupendous it show. It is Sophie from Sophie Plays Games, and today we are playing the Puppeteer. Um, this game came out today. It's the 13th of September 2013. Friday the 13th. That's a bit eerie. And um, I just downloaded it on PlayStation Network. It's really reasonably priced actually. It was only twenty four ninety nine, and it came with loads of dynamic themes and avatars and the soundtrack and stuff. But I'm really excited for this game. It's created by Japan Studios, which you know created Shadow of, of Colossus. This is a reminder to all our patrons this guy to keeps look on after talking. your valuables. It's cool a though. Okay, this game is about theatre. I believe. If any of your Hence personal puppeteer. property goes, but uh, we'll get right into it. I don't think we're going to do a full playthrough, just a one-off today, I think of this. Once upon a time, before everything went to rack and ruin, the Moon Realm was ruled by a beautiful goddess. But then, Little Bear, for whom the Moon Goddess had shown nothing but love, stole two of his mistress's precious possessions. The Black Moonstone and a magic pair of scissors known as Calibrus. After declaring himself Moon Bear King, he invaded the goddess's castle, smashed the white moonstone to pieces. Once upon a time, I once upon a now. This is my moon king, so just get to the part where I sound good. <laughs> right, uh, yes, of course, <laughs> of course. Wasn't everyone so very wowed when the moon goddess was obliterated? Wasn't it just great that the impressive Moon Bear King uh, 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 gave a piece of the White Moonstone to each of his generals, screwing over the moon at large? Oh, yes, the next three years were something special. Ah, yes. Now, where do I begin? He was the Moon Realm's ruthless new king, and intent to keep it that way. So night after night he spirited away the souls of children, and locked them inside wooden puppets, who were doomed to defend Castle Grizzlestaff. And while tonight was no exception, it would prove to be quite exceptional. Poor oh dearie. Look, Ying Yang. Another day, another soul. Poor indeed. You're as bad as the tyrant. How many of these children are you planning to parade off to certain mutilation before you realize you're wasting your time? Why, one more? and then another after that. As many as it takes for me to get my hands on Calibrus. <laughs> That's nice. Meet our hapless hero, who's just blitzed back to life, firmly in the Moonbear King's clutches. Kutaro. Kutaro. Your soul was summoned here at my behest. Kutaro, will you be my friend? Howls to the bitter end! <laughs> you just ate our main protagonist's head. <laughs> Lovely. Another dunce who left his head in the Moon Bear King's belly. Listen, you're going to drop dead if you go without a head. And I'll be the one stuck with cleanup. Come on, let's find something else you can use. A substitute head. What's rattling around in there? It's a head pot. Perhaps I'll just help myself. <laughs> Trophy already. Use the right stick to move Ying Yang and press R2 to investigate. Oh, okay, I'm controlling the cat as well. I 
I am clicking R2. <laughs> there this we go. should do nicely. Hey, you're all set. Remember those head pots. They may be weird, but they flap around with lots of useful heads. But one little touch, and they'll drop their stash. You know, a new kid on the chopping block like you ought to have a couple of noggins at least. Can't take any chances. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go get another head. Oh, there's another one. This reminds me of Rayman Legends we've been playing recently as well with the controlling sort of three See? characters at Just once. like I said. What head's the oh it's a spider head. Lost it! What am I doing wrong? Am I not powerful enough? Uh -oh. Look out. My head! Quick, pick up your head now. This is extremely important. One false move, and those heads of yours will tumble right off your shoulders. If you don't grab them right away, their magic will fade and... No more head. So remember, if you lose your head, pick it up post-haste. Thank you, thank you, cat person, Yin Yang. Okay. Oh, and one other thing. Yes. Moon sparkles. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Voila! These they are look like moon sparkles. Plum bobs. Collect 100, and you'll be able to magically come back to life, even if you do lose all your heads. Let's keep looking. There, the witch's bloomers. <laughs> this is set up so cool with the audience and things coming towards the audience that they're reacting to. Oh, look, another. Keep your eyes peeled for moon sparkles if you want to stay alive. Oh dear, someone's oh, after us. That moon bear king is always angry. Yeah. Oh, look there. You see that head symbol? Listen, every head has a little bit of meowgic to it. Okay. They react to places and objects that resemble them. Oh, why don't you just give it a try? Here, first choose the right head. Okay. Now, use the head's meowgic. Click. Down for head action. Oh, cool. Keep an eye out for those head symbols. Anything could happen. <laughs> Look at that. No wonder they're so skinny. <laughs> Go and bring it to me! You'd better follow that it's fork. The witch doesn't take kindly to long waits. I'm Watch here. that feisty fork. It's as wicked as the witch. Hey, I warned you. Grab my head back. Remember to pick that up quick. No more heads means no more you. Pass through that shimmering gateway to proceed to the now, back of the kitchen. Make no mistake, Kutaro was not alone in his plight. The kitchen was already starved by unfortunates whom the Moon Bear King had plucked from their beds. It's hard to commentate over These it, they're always talking. These children charged with keeping the fickle king fed, and it was a miserably hopeless task. After all, his appetite was as vast and insatiable as his lust for power. Careful, there's this thing about fire and puppets. <laughs> all those moon sparkles, you don't want to toast yourself grabbing them. Okay, so how are we... Where's my head gone? Okay. I lost my other head. Okay. 
think I've got to grab that last one. We'll wait for the uh, bar to stop. I love the fact that um, we, uh, the fact that they've tried to be a bit more innovative with the whole um, um, creating a sort of movie throughout it. Um, I, it's, it's very journey-ish in the way that they're trying to create an experience with the gameplay. I don't know what I'm meant to do now though. <laughs> I'm gonna get burnt. Okay. Oops, my head. Yeah, I don't know what to do now. Oh no, again. <laughs> Need to try and get used to this. Oh, okay, put to into that thing. I had no idea. Imagine being one of these tanks and spending dusk till dawn getting kneaded and grated, peeled and parboiled, marinated, melted, minced and mashed. Or is it just zested, followed by a light braising? Mmm, I smell something delicious. The witch couldn't have made it. Oh, and hamburger heads. Oh, wait. There's a spark of magic in every head. I got any ideas? <laughs> hmm. Head. Bread. Aha. Uh -huh. There's that head symbol. I can see how using That's your cool. head can change the now world. Now we can jump. And I do mean that quite literally. I'm upset I lost my the skull witch, head though. In case you're wondering was a singularly screwy sorceress by the name of Esma Potts. You'd think someone that gifted with a cauldron would know a thing or two about cooking, and you'd be wrong. As for Kutaro's catty companion, name of Yin Yang, he used to be the moon goddess's faithful feline. One might say his current mistress was a step down in some regard. Hmm. It's beautiful though. And easy at the moment. I suppose this is still sort of a tutorial sort of area. Oh, this one doesn't fly up, okay. Look at these sets moving around. This is uh, Watch out for the vegetables. Work. In this kitchen, the cook is a cook and the squash are out to squish. three at a time, so I want to collect a new one. Now I've lost my hamburger one again. Great. <laughs> She's scary. She's very scary. So you can get lost! It has a very crude nature about it, but for some reason it's charming. Drifting away from this ghastly heat. Press the start button and then choose controls, apparently. Yeah, that's cool. I like how it says intermission. <laughs> oh, we've got to open all the windows. Okay. Three. What do you think? Meowed by my cat-like reflexes? Oh, where is the moon goddess? I demand to know where you have taken her! Oh, unhand me, you louts! How dare you! That pip 
lovely princess ought to pipe down. Are you the new boy? I suppose you want me to get your soul back so you can return home. Well, not until you march those wooden legs up to the Moon Bear King's throne room and fetch me his magic scissors. You can do it. After all, you are a very special boy. Deja Mew. <laughs> How many very special boys are we up to now? Ying Yang. You can keep him company. Whoopty <laughs> doo. We get to go to the throne yeah. room to find happiness. <laughs> this Oh, this looks like a different turn of events. Welcome to the Tower of Tribulations. Tribulations. But don't let a cheerful name like that fool you. This place is dripping with nasty traps. <laughs> See? You never know where a head might be hiding. Head pots, dreadnoughts, parking lots. Check everywhere. They don't say, get your head out of the gutter for nothing. Okay. This reminds me of, um, you know how we before we, um, I was talking about Pandemonium, which is a cool game. And, um... Oh no, my head. Can I not attack people at the moment? I don't think I can. I just have to avoid them. Um. Oh no, I need my bat head again. Oops. Let's stay with the spider for a bit then. No! Head, come back! Let's get back to this painting and see what there is. Cool. Um, yeah, it reminds me of a lot of old games where you used to have platforming levels where you would go around in circles, but it would usually be a race. So, uh, this isn't a race, but, uh, but this is kind of the first level that I suppose we're experiencing. I've already got a skull one. Cool. But it is beautiful though. This is a little bit different than what I was expecting. It's easier to control than I was expecting as well. No, no, oh, here we go. We're they racing. Have a spherical situation. Duck for your life before we get bowled over. This is exactly what I was talking about now with the uh, racing against things or things after us. Where's my head? Head come back. Oh no. Can I run any quicker? No, I can't. That's a shame. Okay. Magnificent, Kotaro. There's the entrance to the throne room. No one has ever made it this far. I think they have. <laughs> What's our name again? Kotaro? Stop this madness! I command you in the name of the sun! <laughs> Do you know who I am? Dad's gonna have a supernova! Wait, sire. What if she's right? The sun does have a burning temper. I like how ah, she's cool. What did he do? I've got his precious The girl, not daughter. the tiger. She's a teenage <laughs> sassy. I like that. Sire. It's funny. And even if you didn't, your majesticalness is more than enough to eclipse the sun. I've prepared... A very special room for you, my dear princess. So please, I insist. 
take a long rest. <laughs> what luck. He's left Calibras unattended for once. Kukaro, you are one lucky person. We're going to get Calibras, which I believe is the scissors. Scissors. There before our hero towered the most impressive pair of scissors you've ever seen. The legendary Calibris. But Calibris was bound fast by vile vines, the twisted offspring of the Moonbear King's twisted magic. Reminds me of the keyboard. Kutaro, meet Calibris. Calibris is a cut above your average scissors. He used to serve the Moon Goddess. Step forward, boy. And take your destiny now. Now that's a shock. <coughs> I mean, an honor. Don't you see? Calibus has chosen you. Sweet. We are the chosen one. And so Kutaro's fortunes were starting to look up. After all, he was now the proud owner of a pair of enchanted scissors. Still, it wasn't all good luck. <laughs> it is very the moon bear. That's another game that comes out today, Kingdom Hearts 1 and a half Remix, which I will be playing at some point. Probably today, maybe, or tomorrow. And the boy's first challenge was Ooh, to extricate right, himself from the booby trap he'd just set off. Rats, now this is a fine mess. You'd better use Calibrus to cut a way oh. out of here. Oh, there's one left. Cool. There, that's the ticket. Lots of trophies in this game. Hey, look, we can kind of fly with the scissors. Oh, you have to do it in one quick sweep, otherwise it grabs us back. Okay. Okay. Nice okay. Done, Kutaro. Oops. Missed that. We'll be out of here cool. in no time. My hands are gonna start hurting from clicking so much soon. Yes, you know what to do. This is cool though, it's oh, like you're climbing up by like using true wizard. This is I've not really seen this before, I don't think. Well, let's get um Yay, another head. Cool. Okay, let's climb up here and use it like this. Okay, there we go. See? Take good care of Calibras, and Calibras Ooh. will take care of you. I'm just doing a sphere around this now. Don't that stop is cool, oh, though. Lovely. Honestly, there's, I don't think I've seen anything like this game before. This is great. Who dares lay hand on my property? My traps! How did you get out? Wait, how did you get in? You wretch! What have you done to you my throne room? Guards, apprehend that thief! Deftly and darkly, the grubs descended upon our trembling hero. But locked within each of them was the soul of a child, just as scared as him. Cut the bad guy. You know, that's something great to show kids. <laughs> I'll pop your head! Clean off your shoulders! Loads of trophies in this. And you'll be grabified, God, just like the rest of his poor children. Head. So 
like little lollipops coming up, but I think they're meant to be souls. I'll do it myself. This is not fun. Of all the Moon Bear King's nightmarish magical uh, creations, weavers were some of them. This was Kutaro's first ever real dose of fear. But to escape the weaver, those fears would need to be conquered. How many jumpers rags things does he have? As the clash grew even clashier, the boy sniffed, sliced, and sundered with the cold realization his life counted on it. Oops, my head. There's just one thread left, that's ridiculous. Okay. A cool weapon, though. Like success. The fell weaver. Oh wow! Look at all these little. I just want to call them yellow plumbobs, but. Oh look, I got a brown head. Sweet. I look fancy now. Okay. Unfortunately, the next steps had to be taken at a run, as the Savage King was hot on our heroes. Tiger! It's all sort yes, of cutscene, to be honest. Where did that wealth go? Which is Where good, but it means far, that the commentary over it, like I'm doing, is I imagine he's right probably a bit annoying. I don't want him around the corner. I want him cornered! Find that thief, or I'll find someone who can! Please, sire, your blood pressure. I'll take care of it. Would you like a bath drop? A glass of warm milk? Anything? No? Bravo, Kutaro. None of the others ever made it half as far. This will be music to the witch's ears. Oh, man up, would you please? Would you prefer the grubs find you and the mule bear king yanks your limbs off? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to leave it here, guys. I don't know why the curtains have gone down. It's probably just loading or something. Yeah, it's saving and loading. So thanks, guys, for watching this first part of The Puppeteer. A flash of I'm gonna Kutaro. pause it so none of the story gets, uh, the rest of the story gets spoiled. Um, so yeah, this is a cool game so far. Um, it's so different than what I thought it was gonna be, so different from any other game that I've played. It's, it's kind of a movie that you're going through, but it's a play and you're part of it and there's so much going on, but it just kind of leads you to where you need to go and it's beautiful and it's, I know that it looks like I'm doing a lot of things, but it's, it's so much more natural to play than I would have thought it would have been. So thank you as always for joining me for this uh, quick one-off video of The Puppeteer. Um, I'm Sophie from Sophie Players Games, go check out the rest of my videos and subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for tuning in, guys.